Shalom, Yasharalom. This is your brother, back at it again, Yahakarab, coming at you with another one. But before I start, let me start off by saying and giving all praise to my father through my big brother, Yahweh Shah. Kahalayim la Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And to the rest of the brethren on down that's teaching, Shalom, Slakia. To the rest of the brethren on down that's teaching and preaching this truth, Shalom, Bayata Dawada. And to the Akim and Akwatim that's out there listening and learning and repenting, Shalom to you, Mashbaka. Shalom. Now, this one is going to be surrounding this, what you see. Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Because our people have been destroyed and you have been taught by these damn devils. And what have what people been taught? You've been taught. They've been, they didn't gave you misinformation. They didn't taught you deception. They didn't taught you lies. They didn't taught you untruthfulness. They didn't teach you sincerity. They taught you lies. They gave you false doctrine. These people have stole everything from us. But it's, it's because of our fuck up. Because of our disobedience to our father Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah. But. Nonetheless. They still took everything from us. These damn thieving ass devils have stolen everything from us. Everything. Our land, our nationality, our cultures, our heritage, our scriptures, everything. Our gold, our silver, our crowns, they done stole everything from us. And don't want you to have nothing that belonged to you. They stole it all. And they're going to have to pay for it. But this is about, this what we see. Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Because they didn't taught our people to, 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 man, let me just say this. I ran into these two sisters at Safeway. And they were sitting out in the front with these false ass pamphlets and images and shit. And I sat back and talked to them, bringing the scriptures out. The sister go say that Matthew 28 and 19, he said go and talk to all, all people, all nations and back to all people. I said, okay. So when I started going into the scriptures, the sister had the audacity to tell me that Satan know the scriptures also. Do you see how disobedient our people is? You know, I ain't want to be disrespectful, but, but in my head I'm thinking like, bitch, I ain't no motherfucking devil. I'm telling you the truth, and then you want to sit back and tell me, oh, Satan knows the scriptures too. Bitch, I'm not Satan. And then the, in, the, in the process of me going through the scriptures to letting her know, hey, look, that don't, that don't mean all people. That's talking about our people. A damn devil slid it up right in between us. It's, it's, it's three Israelites right there talking. Me, the male, talking to two female Israelite women. And the devil slid right up, right between, was disrespectful as shit, slid up right between us. Walked right in between me and my talking to my two sisters. And said, no, he's lying. And what was I doing? I was just reading. I wasn't doing nothing. I was just reading. And the damn devil said he's lying. But it flashed in my head what Mashiach said. When the word is being sown, Satan come at me to, to take away the word that was being sown in them. So I didn't want to start no commotion. I just got and went on and left. Told them sisters that y'all be all right. And, and, and you know, and I went on about my business because they, they would have called the police on me. And I ain't want no commotion. But the point is, hey, our people have been taught lies. So I, don't, I, don't, I just wanted to get that out, but let's go into it. But we're going to start here first. Before I read 
Matthew. I want to make this a quick hit, but hey, if it don't be quick, it just don't be quick. Let's read. But before I read Matthew 28, let's go to Matthew 10 first. Matthew 10. And I'm going to start at 10 and 1 and read down to 6. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now the name of the 12 apostles are these. The first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zippides, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and, and, and uh, Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, meaning an Israelite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve, the point, these twelve, Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But what did he tell them to go to? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, for those of our people that was in our land at that time, was they considered as going into the lost sheep of the house of Israel? The lost sheep has been scattered. Was our people in the land at that time? Was they scattered? How the fuck is you scattered and you on you in your own land? Pardon my pardon my French. So who was who was he who was he commanded them to go to now? He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He telling them, okay, go to your people that's been scattered abroad. Into these other nations. Period. Now let's go. Matthew 28. So he told them to go to who? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then that was before his resurrection. Now, after his resurrection, what did he go do? Let's read it. Matthew 28. And I'm going to start at 16. This is after his resurrection. Then the 11 disciples went, went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yahweh had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, and some doubted. And Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. 19 and 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Baptizing them in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim Rakakodash. And when he said go and teach all nations, who was he talking about? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Those of our people that were scattered abroad. It wasn't talking about no heathens. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. What was he commanded? He was commanded to go what? To who? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They weren't commanded to go to those two fucking heathens. Are you stupid? Our people are dumb, man. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. So what did he command them to do? Did he command them to go to all nations, natural heathens, natural Gentiles? No. You was, he was told to go to your people. So when it says go and teach all nations, it's talking about all the nations of Israel that were scattered abroad. Now, during that time, of our people that were scattered abroad, were they scattered into all nations of the whole earth at that time? No, they wasn't. Now, those of our people that were scattered abroad was where? Where were they? Where were they? 
this is where they was at. But let's read this scripture real quick. Revelations. Revelations. Revelations 1 and verse 11. So I started 10. I was in the spirit on Yahweh's day. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's day. That's the Shabbat. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. Those seven churches was the seven assemblies of the Israelites. And where was this at? He going to say unto Ephesus, unto and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, unto Theateria, and unto Sardis, unto, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Those are seven churches. Now, where do you find the seven churches in the scriptures? Do you have a book of, of, of Philadelphia? No. Where do you find these seven churches at? Where the Israelites were scattered to. Where he was commanded to go and teach all nations, meaning teach the scattered Israelites that was in these other nations. Now, at that time, where was these seven churches at? Rome, Romans, the book of Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesus, which is a book of Ephesians, Colossians, Philippians, and Thessalonians. Those are the seven churches. And who were those seven churches? Israelites. So those at that time, that's what they went to. To speak to those they people that were scattered in those lands at that time. It also applies to us in this time now. But we dealing with the, the fact of the matter is, during that time when Mashiach told them this, where were we at? You had some of our people that was in our land, and you had some of our people that were scattered in those other lands that I just named. Period. Now let's go back to Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, meaning scattered Israelites, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. What he says, baptizing them. Now who was the baptism for? Who was the baptism for? It was never for heathens. Let's go into that. This is going into piece by piece that's pertaining to Matthew 28 and 19. Because people have created a false doctrine and said that, oh, Matthew 28 and 19 is talking about all people. Going to, that's, that's how they treat our stuff. They don't want you to have nothing that belongs to you, Hebrews. They don't want you to have nothing that belongs to you, Israelites. Nothing. They don't want you to have your way of life. And these scriptures is our way of life, man. They are our instructions. Let's get it. Who, who, who was that baptism to? Let's get it. Start at Matthew chapter 3 and 1. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judah, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, who was he preaching to while he was in the wilderness of Judah? Heathens? You think it was he was heathens? <laughs> I don't think so. What it said, let's continue reading. 3. Matthew 3 and 3. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of Yahweh shot, make his path straight. And what did he say? Let's continue read 3 and 4. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him, Jerusalem, and all Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And all the region round about Jordan. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Who? Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Not no heathens. Period. That wasn't his job. His job wasn't to go and baptize heathens. His job was to 
teach the baptism of repentance to our people, to us and us only. Let's go to the next one pertaining to this baptism. St. Mark. Let's start here. St. Mark 1 and 1. Same thing, what it says. The beginning of the gospel of Yahweh Mashiach, the son of Yahweh. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. What it says, John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judah and they of Jerusalem were all baptized of him in the river Jordan confessing their sins. Who was baptizing for the remission, repentance and remission of sins? Who did that? Who, who was those people? He just told you. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, Israelites. Now those other nations that they were to teach when you go into Matthew 28, 19, that they would teach, that they were to teach and baptize them. It was the other tribes of, of, of our people. Some of the other, some of you had another kingdom, some was around some of some of them. But it was pre predominantly our people of the southern kingdom that was scattered in those other lands throughout the what? The, the Hellenistic period. Those that were scattered abroad during those times. In those other lands that I mentioned, with those seven churches consist of, that's what it was, it was talking about when it says teach all nations, meaning teach all the Israelites, those that's in the land and those that's scattered abroad. That's what it's talking about. When talking about no fucking heathens. Period. Now, let's go to Luke. For the sake of time, let's just jump to Luke 24, Luke 24 and 47, but I'm going to start at 46. And he said unto them, thus it is written after his, this is another account, but after his resurrection, thus it is written and thus it behooved my shock to suffer and to be raised from the dead and to be raised from the dead the third day. 47, St. Luke 24 and 47, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. So, well, that was the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. It, it didn't, it did, not, did it not start at, at Jerusalem? John preached the baptism of repentance, but beginning at what? Judah and Jerusalem. Mashiach came before his rest, before he did, he went through all the stuff he went through for us and was resurrected. He came preaching what? The baptism of, re of repentance to his people, not heathens. It, that, that it began at Jerusalem. It began within the confines of our land. That's where it began that. Then when Mashiach sent them abroad, he sent them abroad and said, go do what? Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let's get some more on that. Let's go to Acts. Let's get some more on that. Who was, who was being preached this baptism of repentance? Let's go to Acts 13. Real quick. Acts 13, and I'm going to start at 24. When John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom ye think I am? Whom ye think that I am, Slakia? I am not he. But behold, there cometh one after me whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to, to, to loose. But the point is 24. And what he says? Preaching the baptism of the repentance to all Israel. Not heathens. Let's grab another one. Let's go to Acts 2. Let's lock it up. 
Let's go here. Acts, I'm going to start at 37. Acts 2 and 37. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter, wasn't Peter one of those, ten, those 12 apostles, 12 disciples, which was apostles, that he said, go where? Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when ye go to them, preach, the kingdom is at hand. Let's continue. 37. Acts 2 and 37. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what do we, what, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shammashiach for the remission of sins. Who is he talking to? He said, men and brethren. Those of his nation. Baptize every one of you in the name of Yahweh Mashiach for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, who is that being baptized? I don't hear nothing about no heathens being baptized. Let's get another one. Let's go to five. And I'm going to start at 30. Acts, Acts 5 and 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Better yet, and remission of sins because that remission means forgiveness of sins. So who was it? Who was that being? Who was that being preached to? Israel, not heathens. Period. So when you go back to Matthew twenty-eight and nineteen, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Who Israelites that were scattered in those other lands, baptizing them. Who was being supposed to be baptizing Israelites in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. What did he command them to do again? To go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. So our people need to get it. Now, who was these people when you go back to Luke? Salakia. When you go back to Luke, let's touch this point. When you go back to Luke, Bear with me. 24. When you go back to Luke at 24 and 47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. Beginning at Yasharalim. So who was among all nations? Who was scattered among all nations? Let's get it. Let's go and find out how our people wind up being scattered among all nations. Let's go here right quick. Who was scattered among all nations? Let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 36. Matter of fact, yeah, kind. Let's read this. I'm going to start at 17. Ezekiel 36 and 17. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they shed, that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. So who was scattered among the heathens? So who was this? What? 
Who's this? We said, what? Well, go to them and baptize them. And so now you see why Paul done went to them, these other, these other lands, those other lands. And who was he speaking to? Israelites. Preaching the baptism of repentance for them. That they, they, it's, a, they, it's open up for them. Yahweh shall die for them so they can be received forgiveness of their sins. Repent and return back to your father, Yahweh, through Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Going to preach to them this truth and establishing them in the faith. Because once they was to be established in the faith, then you can teach them, hey, look, this is your custom that you got. These are the things you can do and these are the things you can't do. Then start preaching and teaching them the law, statutes, the commandments. But first establishing them in the faith. That's what they job. That's what they was doing. Going, preaching the truth to them, establishing our people in those other lands that were scattered in those other lands, teaching them and establishing them in the faith, in the belief of this. And then and once they're established in the faith, then you gradually teach them the commandments to do the things of obedience that's meant for repentance, that's meant for them to obtain salvation. But their job was to establish them in the faith and get them to return back, repent and return back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Then teach them these righteous acts. That was their job. So when you reading in Matthew 28 and 19, it ain't talking about going to no heathens. Period. It's talking about Israelites that were scattered in other lands. That's all I wanted to bring out on it. Let me end it by saying, Call Allah him like Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and And once again, double honors to the elders, the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And to the rest of the brother known down is teaching and preaching this truth. Shalom by Yahweh Dawadah. And to the Akim and Akwathim that's out there repenting and learning and repenting. Shalom to you, Mashbukah. Shalom.